In this video, we're going to be playing some more Pit Speed Bonanza with Cobra Band and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to win fast in this arena despite not having the offensive power of the Cobra. So yeah, let's get right into it. And now we're up against the Prime Speed Bonanza opponent, of course. Way to start off this video, right? <laughs> okay, I can probably kill him on yellows if I had to guess. Um, so the trailer we're going to be running, you see it in my powers already. It's jam packed, team tower stun, and genetically enhanced crops. And uh, yeah, we're on snowfall. So we're going to be running something like heli, farm, and then whatever tower helps you anti stall. That's pretty much it. Uh, either that or you run uh, or you run super, but uh, like that's if you want late game options, but I don't really like that because most people run ninja farm ace or ninja farm super and end up outlasting you. So I'm going to be running dot probably. And um, yeah, the goal is to anti stall around using the dot like so. Uh, then of course our heli is going to be our prime money making source, etc. Uh, so yeah, we don't do the farm glitch that I showcased in my speed and ends of video before because that doesn't anti-stall around and we don't want that. Uh, we don't want any rounds stalled because Heli makes us infinite money anyway, so you don't care about making slightly more in the early game. It just really doesn't matter. So yeah, we're just going to be genetically enhanced crops. Uh, once we of course get double plantation going, now this downdraft Heli is going to help me anti-stall just a little bit more. And yeah, we're gonna get microing pretty much. I'm not gonna try my micro too hard because uh, microing, I know uh, with my mic kinda makes the game lag a little. So I'm not gonna be, like you're not gonna be seeing me at full speed on like my spam post commentary that I made uh, before. So, I mean, if you want to see my micro at full speed, I'm probably gonna add a post commentary game uh, on top of like what I'm showcasing here uh, as live as live commentary, but until then, right? Anyway, we're of course going to be uh, adding that jug on last, this jug on first, this is going to help us defend. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we have infinite money compared to him, so it does help, does help. Okay, so he's just spamming yellows at me, probably to eco if I had to guess, but that's not a problem. He has ninja and super, my strategy is plenty like efficient at exploiting it, so yeah, we're just gonna be... Okay, he has ninja farm super, but he didn't even farm in the early game, so he has very low money. Alright, that's great stuff, and yeah, we have infinite money already, so we can just place this farm and get rushing. And uh, yeah, he's pretty much guaranteed dead here. All right, just like that, we end up taking the win. Two minutes, 30 seconds for something really, really easy. You don't even need good micro for this. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. Now against Diddy19. So yeah, th the reason why the strategy works, right? It's really easy to defend it. But if, like, the problem is that this is Moab Pit when BFP Coliseum is out. Uh, like, that's the only time this arena comes out. And um, because of this, uh, of course, you can win 100% of the time slowly uh, by running something like Ninja, Farm Super, and then bringing, like, really late game powers uh, on uh, always riding on late game maps and, like, bringing the best late game powers. But you can also just win very fast and extremely consistently. Uh, with my strategy that I'm showcasing here to like ma make more medallions faster while still having a decent win rate, right? So yeah, we're going to be going heli farm boat this time because this is Hydra Dam and yeah, boat anti stalls well in Hydra Dam. Uh, but it's the same principle every time. You just want heli and an anti stall tower every single time. Like that's everything you do every single time, pretty much. So yeah, we're going to be upgrading to faster shooting to uh, make sure that we anti stall those rounds properly. And of course, we're going to be sending things naturally. Um, so yeah, we're just going to be farming on since he's not sending me anything. Otherwise, I would go for faster shooting boats. 
uh, here, which is the good boat spot, but we don't need that. And uh, he's gonna be trying to defend my pinks here, but he's still leaking a lot, uh, which is great for me. And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna be sending those blacks, waiting for my uh, Heli Micro to be affordable. And we're gonna be going at it pretty much. Assaulted wounds, guess we shouldn't leak those lives when we have the option not to. And yeah, now we're gonna be making infinite money, so his salted is worthless. I can just get up plenty of destroyers to defend his stuff. And yeah, we're gonna be going for a facility next. I'm gonna be going for my destroyers like I planned. Um, next, I do want to get up my heli micro again. So we're gonna do exactly that. Gonna make sure we max anti stall with a destroyer here. And he almost died to my yellows. Wow, I didn't even pay attention to that. I think I can team tower stun maybe and kill him off of that. I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna try something like this. And maybe this works. All right, nice. We do take the win. One minute, 50 seconds, just killing all around eight like that. This always happens, by the way. <laughs> yeah, let's move on to the next one. Now we're against this guy who, once again, typical uh, profile for this arena. So <laughs> yeah, you're going to be facing a lot of these kinds of opponents and they're really easy, easy to exploit. So yeah, we're going to be going heli farm boat. As I said before, uh, that's a great strategy to install on water maps. And uh, yeah, of course, same powers every single time. So, this Zeus profile is very interesting, huh? Okay. Uh, so we're gonna be farming. My God, I completely forgot my start for a second. <laughs> I'm just too used to regular speed bonanza. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna be going for the faster shooting again. Because uh, yeah, grape shot does help, but doesn't help the boat shoot faster. So that is that. Um, now we're gonna be going for the plantation once again. The start is going to be very repetitive, like it's always the same principle. I don't think I need to like announce everything that I'm doing here, but he's sending blue, so I'm going for the grape shot, of course, naturally. And uh, yeah, we get two plants, genetic, as per usual. Now we're just gonna wait uh, to get my heli micro, of course. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be microing now. So. Now he, that he's equaling with greens, I'm just going to get up a destroyer. And this is going to install nicely. I'm going to leave it on last to, to like ensure that it pops the AI as soon as it can. Because uh, yeah, install is especially important with uh, this kind of strategy to like really prevent uh, everyone else from making any kind of money. Like it's really important to have that kind of thing going on because you're gonna get infinite money with this strategy. Heli just makes way too much money in this arena by itself, which is why it's not even needed. Because uh, you don't have Cobra, so it's not really necessary. And uh, yeah, Heli by itself just makes so much money that you can waste all the money you want on anti-stalling. And uh, you can bring uh, a lot of aggro powers um, because of that. So that's why we have this exact strategy that we're running right now. Uh, he's not sending the lead at me, otherwise I would just get, a, get up a Razor Rotors to defend those. And yeah, we now have way too much money to spare. We're just gonna get up facilities with that money. Gonna get up an Apache now to defend. There we go, can sell these. And we're gonna be sending now that round 11 is hitting, so yeah. Let's see what we can do. Looks like he's trying to go for a Dotling upgrade, but he doesn't have the money because we had stalled. And yeah, we're gonna team toast and take the win. He did go for the Hydro Rocket Pods, but it was way too late by then. So yeah, we take another quick win. Let's move on to the next one. Once again, just the same kind of profile every single time in this arena. It really doesn't change. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be skipping the long end maps, of course. Yellow Brick Road is great though. We're gonna be going Heli Farm. Mm, I'm thinking Engineer. Engineer would work great to install this map or TAC again. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be going TAC actually. TAC probably has more use than Engineer. 
Mm, actually, I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna be going engineer. Sure. Let's try it. Let's see what happens when we bring engineer instead. It's a great tower to install, of course. So yeah, we're gonna be sending blues as usual. Don't mind that. And uh, yeah, let's see what this game has in store for us. So I'm gonna be placing down my engineer. It doesn't end install round one too well, it looks like, but I mean, I kind of expected it. With tech, it's pretty much the same thing because you start with the heli instead. So yeah, probably the right thing to do. Although uh, with uh, this engineer on the last, it doesn't install rounds very well. So I guess it's much better because it's cheaper than the heli. Nara, of course, gonna be going for a dawn draft. Gonna be sending greens. He does lightning. Okay, fair enough. Now, yeah, we're gonna be going for the sprockets. Two of them, in fact. This is gonna help us defend. We're gonna be going for more greens because, as usual, um, you do want to force the defense as a priority. Uh, over making money because you're gonna make infinite money and they won't so yeah that's something to keep in mind um, so yeah we're gonna be sending yellows just spamming them at him forcing that lightning out of the way pretty much the plan right now yeah that's what happens I think you're going for a facility upgrading it gonna go for more helis gonna then send I don't know, pinks probably do nothing, I'm not going to send them. I'm going for a balloon trap. In case of leads. I'm going to be collecting that, thank you. We do take the money. Now we're going to be spamming region white, because we have the money for that. And it's probably going to force defense eventually, so... Yeah, we do get an extra flash bomb out of him. He has Ninja Farm Super. It's gonna be very easy to exploit. Gonna be placing a heli down, upgrading it to rotors. In case we need an Apache, if he sends uh, rainbows at me, of course. And yeah, now we're gonna be going for this rush. This is, of course, the deadliest rush that you can do. And uh, you're gonna see just how strong it is against Ninja Farm Super. He has tower boost, but that's not gonna be enough. Look at this regrowth farm. Team Tower Stun just makes it even worse to look at. Holy. And yeah, that's gonna be a two minute 30 second win. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. And now we're up against Temporarily. Uh, he forgot the eye in Temporarily, so yeah, good job, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be running, I think, Tech. I don't know what could be better for anti star. Probably Engineer, actually. We're gonna try Engineer. So yeah, it's of course cards, that's a pretty short map, not the shortest in the world, but short enough to be satisfy to be uh, sorry, satisfactory. So yeah, let's see what we can make work here. So we're gonna be going for engineer, of course, try to install. And uh, yeah, we do get some install going, that's good. Uh, he's gonna install for me with those lightning, so I don't need to invest more money into install, otherwise I would. But yeah, I'm just gonna be sending pinks at him. I'm gonna wait for my uh, genetic yeah, to get it up. Cool, cool, cool. We're gonna get our diamond draft as per usual. You know how this goes anyway. And uh, yeah, we're gonna wait for 2.5k to start honey microing. All right, there we go. And oh my god, I missed that ability. All right. So he does have Super Monkey, uh, Farm, and probably Ice, if I had to guess. It's the common thing, but Ninja actually outlasts Ice, believe it or not. It's just, uh, I don't know, like, people think the sacrifice is more worth it. It's really not, but I'm gonna try this. Oh my god, I team Tower Stone on accident. I didn't mean to do that. But I think he thought I knocked out, and so we take the win anyway. I meant to jam pack, but we take the win. <laughs> All right. GG to temporarily, 1 minute 16 seconds again. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Okay, now we're against this guy who has a censored name on Inkblot. And uh, yeah, I forgot to uh, record the <laughs> beginning of um, sorry the matching screen. So yeah, you guys are not getting that. Sorry about that. But 
Yeah, we're on ink blots. That's the short map. We can actually run tech and just um, farm glitch because yeah, early money is actually important on short maps, believe it or not. And uh, he's gonna be installing for me with those lightnings. So that's really good. And uh, of course he hasn't sent me anything. So we won't leak much. We can just safely go for a heli. Uh, keep sending some balloons to force the lightnings out of the way and yeah, just farm on pretty much. So we're going to be genetically enhancing on two plants. And uh, yeah, he has super monkey. Of course, everyone runs that in this arena, but you're going to see it just gets exploited by my strategy on short maps, of course. So we're going to be going for attack shooter here to anti star naturally. He damaged boosts, I think it was, and um, so he does have super farm and doesn't look like he's running anything else in particular. I don't know, he's not revealing the powers that he has, but yeah, we're going to be trying to jam back some yellows. He does genetic, I'm going to try the team tower stun, and that's going to be it. Wow, <laughs> 1 minute 14 seconds, that's how fast short maps are. So yeah, let's move on to the next one, guys. Okay, and we are against Team Meister, so this is probably going to be the last um, last live commentary of uh, this video, so if you enjoyed it, of course I'm going to add a post-commentary game after this, but if you enjoyed the video so far, then uh, please consider subscribing and uh, leaving a like, because that's two things that just require a single press of a button, and they help me out so much. And uh, yeah, of course I have a Discord server, if you want to talk to me, the link is in the description. Uh, of this video, but that's about it. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be doing the usual farm star. We once again get Ying Yang on right side. I've shown this before, so you know how the early game goes. As for what he's running, he's running Ninja Farm, probably super. And uh, you saw that that's pretty easy to exploit um, with the strategy. So yeah, we're going to be going for yet another farm. And uh, just waiting on to get my um, plantation. Although I do need the grape shots to ensure that we install despite those blues that he's sending, but yeah, that's about it. So we get a part down draft after genetically enhancing, and uh, we're gonna be sending some greens, of course, at him. Just waiting for the money to come by for me to get my um, my heli farm going on, and yeah, we do get it. Now that we force the defense, we can stop sending and start microing, of course. And uh, yeah, you're gonna see my full micro speed uh, on the post commentary game, so make sure to watch that if you're interested. Uh, but yeah. Now we're just going to be going for a facility since we have the money to. You do need 30k, by the way, um, to get up a facility in this scenario, so. Yeah, something to keep in mind. We're gonna be sending yellows now because I didn't realize that he didn't have the money. Uh, sorry, the defense invested to defend. So yeah, we're gonna be spamming those. Trying to get them to panic pretty much. Now we're gonna be sending pinks because that should force more defense. Does get up a flash bomb, don't know if it's enough. Gonna send regen now, even though there's little points because it's pinks, but we definitely take the added rushing power. And yeah, he does get up a second flash bomb instead of farming. That's very good. That's what we want. I'm gonna be spamming region whites at him now. Just trying to see if it forces anything else at all would be good. He better soils and goes for a lot of republics, but I mean, really, you need factories, man. All right, we're gonna be jam packing now. Does have super. He uses big bloom beat down, which serves zero purpose. And yeah, that's gonna be it. All right, nice. We once again take a very quick win and you can see how those just chain together. But yeah, let's move on to the post commentary game to end off this video. So yeah, hi, post commentary sweat here. We're against Xander32 for our first game and uh, we're gonna be on Shipyard. So yeah, he readies up. Uh, we start off with our farm, of course. 510 eco, the usual. And uh, you're gonna see my micro at work here. So of course we start off with attack, we do want to end start as hard as possible. I know I said before that uh, with Heli Farm attack on short maps you can just afford like um, setting up your money and uh, going for a heli, like the usual farm glitch start um, that we do in Speed Bonanza with Cobra on, but 
uh, I know that this guy, like I faced him in the game before that I didn't show on video because I deemed it rather boring. So yeah, I, I show a lot of, uh, sorry, I don't show a lot of like losses I judge boring or wins I judge boring. Like uh, I've probably like won 15 games off camera that I've been recording and I, I just didn't show on video because um, because I simply don't judge it, judge the content interesting. But yeah, you're going to see my micro work here. Uh, while I talk over it, <laughs> I know it's pretty fast. You're gonna you're gonna see that, but uh, yeah, this is what happens when I micro at like full speed. Uh, I would show it on video, but the problem is that um, when I do that, uh, you know, sometimes you hear the sound of me tapping on my screen, right? And uh, oh yeah, <laughs> right. I forgot how this game goes. <laughs> He's just gonna go down to the TTS yellows that I sent him. Wow. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess we'll move on to the next one. I'll finish what I was going to say. So yeah, now we're up against these on... I mean, we'll see what map he, where he gives us. We, of course, get Frozen River. It's way too long and awkward to my Quran. And we get the park instead. All right. So yeah, I'm going to take some time to switch back to my powers here. Put them into the right slots. Uh, doing a little manipulation with damage boost and things like that. Because otherwise I wouldn't be able to swap uh, the Sabo powers and Bloom powers that they had. Because... Uh, yeah, there was a boring game before this one that I didn't show on video. Uh, we were against Boat Farm Ninja on Shipwreck, I think it was. And I just brought passive powers and won that way because it's a very boring map and you can't play aggressive powers on it. So yeah, that's an example of why I don't like show some um, some games on video. I won't show certain wins, I won't show certain losses because uh, most of the time the losses that I have, they're just dumb chokes when I'm in a winning position. I can show this one, one of uh, those games to you guys if you want but yeah often i get too busy like commentating uh instead of um just focusing on my game and playing properly so yeah i end up choking like stupidly to some ai that i under defend and think i do defend when i really don't and i'm not paying attention to how it's defending and then i don't react because i'm just too busy commentating i don't even react to me not defending and then i just die because of that like some kind of scenario like this i don't think you guys want to see that kind of game on video I mean, it's funny, it's funny once, but I mean, after that, I mean, there's not much behind it. But yeah, you're going to see my left side micro here. Uh, as usual, my left side micro, not my best micro side, but I do decently on this map, I guess. Of course, uh, you're going to see me sending while microing. That's um, one thing that iPad can do. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to be microing my helis and sending in the meantime. Uh, to like force defense. That's something that only iPad users can do, by the way. You can't do this on PC or on uh, or on phone, but I do abuse my device's strengths when I can. Uh, PC, for example, would, would have zero problem, problems microing on left side and right side alike. And uh, on mobile, it actually takes less inputs than iPad to get the micro off or, or PC, as a matter of fact. So it actually makes uh, for the fastest device for pure micro speed it would have to be phone because it requires the least inputs. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, where things stand. Um, like device-wise, iPad has the most practicality because you can send while microing. That's a huge advantage, uh, like in actual gameplay rather than pure like micro challenges. That's why I'm not the strongest in like micro challenge type stuff, but in arenas like speed bonanza, etc. I end up dominating over everyone because yeah, it's a really, really practical thing to have, like really practical tool for um, for this arena and others. But yeah, I'm gonna go for these factories, lots of them. You can see I almost fill the map with them because Heli is broken. And yeah, I'm gonna be jam packing some region rainbows, but he does have a Roma monkey, so he can defend. Uh, meanwhile, I mean, now's the time for me to send camera region rainbows. And uh, yeah, that's that, yeah, spot of this rush against Ninja Farm Super. It's the camo spot because, I mean, as you're gonna see, I'm gonna jam pack again. And um, yeah, just look at the Rigor Farm. I team Tower Stun here in advance to like make him Rigor Farm way harder. And you can see how hard it pushes right after the team Tower Stun because everything had time to Rigor. And yeah, he just dies very savagely. <laughs> so yeah, let's move on to the next one, I guess. All right, and here comes Togepi. So this guy's profile doesn't say a lot about him. It just says that he doesn't have much experience. So she should, he should be fairly easy to eat, my bad. But yeah, usual heavy farm boat. And uh, we're gonna skip 
sorry, he's gonna skip the map uh, in the end, if I remember this game correctly. Uh, so we're not gonna get Swan Lake. I don't think, yeah, he skips it, all right. And uh, we get Dungeon, of course, way too long, instant skip. And uh, we do get Area 52, which is far from the best, but we'll try to make something work on it. I think that uh, with this strategy, Dot is probably like the best tower that you can bring to install early game. Because just setting a triple dot on last is very, very easy. Uh, of course, on maps that you don't have access to boat, of course, because uh, yeah, boat would be the best um, anti star uh, tower in the game that you can have, as it's the best early game tower. But yeah, dot can do can do can do its thing, um, I suppose. So we're gonna go for the plant as soon as we can, and um, yeah, if I remember this game correctly, my micro goes very, very, very hard. <laughs> so I think you're gonna enjoy seeing this. Uh, I could uh, show you guys like live commentary with um, my actual like uh, best micro speed that I can pull off, but it's gonna hurt your ears. I'm gonna like get a new mic um, as soon as possible, like when I get monetized and stuff, uh, so that you guys don't have to like bear with the sound of me tapping on my screen uh, in the videos. But until that happens, I need a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours. So. Yeah, shout out to you guys watching my videos until the end. Uh, really, really appreciate it because, I mean, thanks to you guys, I'm gonna get monetized faster. And I, I, like, I like making money off YouTube, that way I can, like, put, put better content out for you guys with, like, better material that costs me money. You know, I'm a college student, I can't really invest in too much without, like, a good money-making source and I don't have a student job. Um, so yeah, I pretty much need to find money somehow and off YouTube would like provide me a lot or at least enough to the point where I can afford like, um, some stuff that's like pretty much essential to put out better content, like better mics, etc. So yeah, of course I appreciate every single one of you guys that like subscribes to the channel and, um, watches all my content like up until the end because uh, it does um, help me get monetized faster. So yeah, th thanks to y'all. <laughs> really thanks to y'all, I owe you guys a lot. But mm, all right, we're gonna pretty much fill the map with farms again, as per usual. And uh, it's round 11 times, so we're gonna rush this guy. Uh, of course, Ice Farm Super, not the easiest loadout to rush by any means, but uh, like, especially with the money that Ice gets, but we're gonna try and make something work. 12 hits and it's time for the big rush. And uh, we send those camos, and he doesn't buy the Viral Frost in time, so we do Team Tower's turn right on time for him to die. And yeah, we do end up taking the win. So um, that was the last game of post commentary of this video. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave a pass sweat now to do the outro for you guys. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, of course, consider subscribing and leaving a like. Tell me what you found this video in the comments down below. What was good was bad, and yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.